Good morning, everybody. So can everyone see that screen? Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. OK, so um, just wanted to really sort of tell you a little bit about my story. So face to face HR, you can see that lovely building there. We're based in Huntingdon and we've recently taken out another office in Cambridge, um, which is at the Alia Futures Business Park in Cambridge. Um, just want to sort of give you a few shots of my family, get to know me a bit more. So um, the one there in the, the bottom corner is my children. Yes, I have four children and they're all grown up. And this was one uh, recent event. Um, I had my son home from Australia. So um, we had a bit of a festival. We love festivals as a family. We're very much into our music. Um, we love festivals. So we've been to lots over the years. So we did our own festival at home. And then there's myself and my husband, Paul, um, we do a lot of traveling and that's one of our little trips where we went to and that's in Canada. And then, of course, my little babies in the top there, Rudy and Reggie, who was just here. They've gone now. They've gone off with their, um, their dog sister for the day because um, I've got a busy day ahead of me. So um, that's Rudy and Reggie, who are my lovely little babies. Um, so, yeah, they're my family. They're the reason. They're my why. They're my why I do everything that I do in terms of my business um and my you know sort of my, my sort of passion and and what I do in terms of my job so in terms of my business so we at the moment we are a four um but we are going to soon become a five um now I started my business back in 2019 and we have um really grown and we've employed I've employed more than We've, we have here um, but you know as things go people come they go and we've got a really nice team um, right at this minute and we've um, we've got some specialisms in the team and we're, we're doing really well um, so we've got Sue there um, who's on the um, who's sitting next to me and then you've got Sophie and Ashley and I think I've shared with you all this morning the advert I've gone out to um, for a new HR advisor so please do like share um, you never know who's looking at it in anyone any one of our network um, so who might be our next um, new staff member so this um, picture was taken at a recent um, photo shoot what we had we had lots of lovely photographs taken of the team for our social media um, and that's just one of them and so this is just a, a, we're in a good place at this point um, so in terms of what we do, um, we offer, we support lots of SMEs, um, so small and medium sized businesses. So anything from um, you're just taking on your first employee. So you want to make sure that you're compliant to a, an established business who um, who just is ready to have some in-house support. Um, it could be an established business who actually already has some HR admin but I really wanted to sort of have that additional kind of support and they don't want a sort of a, a, a really a sort of a call center feel. They want that personal touch. So they want somebody to come in, be part of their team. And that's what we do. So we really integrate into the team. So I wanted to really sort of share with you my three top services and how you could potentially introduce me to people you talk to, your contacts, give me a warm introduction, and um, possibly because, you know, we we, we all speak and, and, and talk to lots of different businesses on a daily basis. So, um, she says, so the first employee package. So what is the first employee package? Well, that is a set of documents which will enable anybody, um, any new business starting off employing their first person to actually set the foundation to their compliance, um, they've then got a really good startup. Um, and with our first employee package, it's really good in terms of they'll get their all their <clears throat> compliance documents like their contract of employment, um, their grievance and disciplinary processes, their employee privacy notice, they'll get some guides on um, statutory requirements. They'll also get a load of different packs, their joiner packs, all, all the different documents that are really gonna set them off and really start that process of, so when they take on their next employee, they've got that information 
they don't then have to go out and buy some more because actually they've got it and that's going to then um, give them a really good start. Now, obviously, anything that we draft, we produce, we update it for free. So we don't then come back and charge them. If something happens within that time frame, some legislation changes, then we update it for free. So it's cost effective. Um, it's really good way of actually getting into a lot of um, um, small companies because we really do sort of help them um, set that up and we give them lots of advice guidance as well. Um, so a really good introduction would be so that, you know, asking, you know, if you know of anybody, okay, I'm just about to take my first employee on. I don't know what to do. I've been Googling it. I really don't know what to do. Or you have some people say, well, actually, I'm going to chop and paste my previous contract where I had with a previous client, uh, um, employer a few years ago. I'm going to chop and paste it. Don't do that. Actually, go down this route and actually speak to Lorraine or one of her team and they will be able to set you on the way. Um, I actually do the first employee package. I've just actually put it into somebody who's actually established but they wanted to have this to stop start them off because they didn't have anything. They've been going for about six years. They didn't have a thing. So they decided to go this way initially, and then they're just developing it and actually growing that. Um, the next one is retained um, HR support. Now, retained HR support is basically we are your um, HR department. So think of us as we are your HR department. Now, and a lot of um, our clients who have us as re HR retained support, they give us a um, internal inbox email like HR at, um, and they'll give us that. So then we are very much part and parcel of um, what they do. So there's no external face-to-face -face HR kind of thing. Um, so the majority do that um, because they want us to really be part of it. And they generally give us access to their SharePoint. And so we could really truly um, become part and parcel of their team. Um, so who's it for? It's for small employees, anything from um, sort of, you know, small employees up to the 70 staff. Um, really for those um, clients who are wanting to sort of grow to the next step and they really want to make sure that they've got they've got that assurance, they've got that um, they've got somebody who can they can talk to, whether it's just a soundboard, whether they've got a query, whether they've got an issue or actually explain what this next bit of legislation is going to do for me. How is it going to impact my business? That's what we do. We advise them all the way along the way. So HR retained support is, again, another affordable way. And um, sometimes it's less than a sort of monthly shop. It really is. It's based on the amount of um, employees. So it's on a headcount. Um, it's not based on hours. We don't give a set amount of hours. It's you. you can contact us. 360 days of the year, I'd say. I do take Christmas off, so there you go. <laughs> um, we also, we have a lot of different HR projects. So those HR projects could be a whole range. So I've recently been, I've undertaken um, sort of a um, salary banding project. So we're looking at um, all these different, uh, a technology company and all the different roles. And we're looking at all the, the salary uh, banding and just to make sure that we've got the we're in the right competitive um, market um, there's things like um, I do a lot of um, succession planning as well that's went to there um, and so it really is it could be anything it could be of us just really doing a restructure to actually us going in and actually completely um, looking at how they um, run their whole business in terms of um, how they recruit people in, what their exit strategy is, all of those things. So anything end-to-end -end employee related. So in that get mind, I would say my ideal client is anybody with got 10 to 70 staff, um, definitely science, engineering or technology based around the Cambridge area. Um, my good referral partners are business coaches, recruitment consultants and accountants. Um, and I will work best we, I work with an awful lot of um, different business coaches and accountants who really sort of we we sort of help each other. Um, so, yeah, so that's me in a nutshell. I have got time wrongly, so I don't go over my 10 minutes. Um, but I thank you for listening. I know it was a really short, swift through. But any questions, anybody um, you've got around about any of the services that we offer, 
um, please do feel free to say now or book a one-to-one -one with me and I'm happy to share more details with you. Thanks, Lorraine. Right, okay. Um, if you want to, uh, I can just see if anybody's got their hand up, anybody got, got any questions? I can't, I'm, I'm scrolling through. So if, uh, if you want to... question, Craig. Yeah, um, go on. Have you Mark. noticed post-pandemic, more people working from home, any changes in the requirements that your companies are uh, are asking for? Yeah, um, huge changes. So most, in general, um, people are looking post-pandemic, I want to work remotely or have a hybrid situation, um, hybrid working. And so a lot of companies have gone that way um, and, and are quite happy. Um, I've seen a lot more this year, a lot more trials of hybrid, where a lot of companies said we want to bring people back into the office. Um, we don't want everybody working remotely. I know it's worked, but we actually want to start bringing people back into the office. There is a lot of um, companies who have got rid of um, um, offices over the past couple of years because you know that was a huge amount of money they were spending. They weren't having people coming into the buildings. But I've, I've seen a, a definite sway towards that. Let's do some trials. Let's get people back in, even if it's like for one or two days a week. And let's start meeting as teams as a rather than just on Zoom or Teams. Let's start meeting actually in person. Um, so I'm seeing a lot more of that. But also in the recruitment side, um, we're having to be really, really specific about what we're wanting. So if we just put an advert out and people come and say, well, if it's remote, I'll apply for it. No, it's if it's not remote, we have to be really, really specific because um, people are expecting it, it can be a remote job. And it's not always. Excellent. Thank you very much. OK, um, Zach, one quick question. I'll try to keep it really quick. So people may be in like similar situation to me. And I know you've got your kind of medium to larger uh, businesses is like your ideal client. But in terms of like smaller businesses um, like myself, would you would someone be a client or a good referral for you? someone who's in a situation where they're like, I'm not sure whether to take on, uh, just have freelancers and contractors or whether mm -hmm. to take on a, an employee, would they be someone to sort of send your way for advice and to get into that world? Yeah, yeah, because we can then, we can then discuss it as to what's actually going to be more beneficial to them. And again, it depends on their, their industry, the sector, what it is and what it's actually going to be better for them. So I talk to, um, I talked to somebody um, recently, actually, he's got a podcast company and he was, um, he'd always had subcontractors. He'd always had self-employed people, associates working with him, but he won't, he was saying, I'm not sure this is the right thing for me. Um, what would be, and so we went through um, really the, um, the statutory requirements, what he would, what he would have to commit to if he actually took that employee on, as opposed to what happens in terms of the freelancer, um, and also that he felt in the end, he felt he had a little bit more control in the actual schedule throughout the year if he had an employee. But again, it doesn't always work for everybody. So it's looking at those different scenarios and actually advising which is the best route. And of course, we also um, we also draft uh, subcontractor and freelance um, agreements as well. So um, we can advise and make sure that they've got their terms and conditions in place so actually they are covered and they're protected 